Hi, I am updating the installation of a Kyocera driver on a Mac. Um, there have been a few changes to Kyocera's website and also uh, the version of the driver that they have on there. Uh, to get the driver, uh, grab one of your uh, browsers. You can go in here and the link you want to go to is kiaseradocumentsolutions.com uh, when you're there usually it will come up with a, a site that says asks for a download site click on that and scroll oops sorry scroll down here to where it says download we'll open up this screen here now depending on what kind of uh, machine you're trying to uh, find the driver for uh, the A3 machines are usually the black ones that are big that can do up to 11 by 17 sheets the A4 machines are usually machines that have the usually the the word ecosys in front of the machine model so something like an M3550 or an M6535 IDN or something like that but for right now you can go in here and click on uh, say I, uh, I'll click on this one. It's uh, it's for the big machines, the ones that do 11 by uh, 11 by 17. Click on this side, and then you'll find this is where you'll find all the models that you 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 want to download from. So I can select something like a 6550. Tell it to search, and it will will find your search. Now the the newest uh. Kyocera Mac driver is version 4 and I've already downloaded the, the driver because they are kind of uh, actually kind of large so let me do that so I've uh, downloaded it here on the desktop so if I run the executable here or the unzip it it'll show up like that open this and here's the driver now once you double click on this it'll it'll uh unzip the, the the file and open it up in the in the window like this just go ahead and double click on the installer installer will come up like this just go through the continues and okay and agree and all this stuff it'll tell you how big the file is and tell it to install it'll ask you for a password so you just put in your password to install the driver and it will now unpackage the uh, the file and uh, install the driver to where you want it to go this usually depending on the the size of the file it may take uh, up to up to a minute sometimes but usually it takes about 20 30 seconds if your computer is fast enough so you just go ahead and close this out basically this is all done now you want to bring up your system preferences to add the the print driver you go to add a printer and if you have it on the default bonjour it will find all the the print drivers or the printers that are available on your network most of the time I do not use this because sometimes it will um, it gets kind of glitchy at times I normally use the IP usually this is where you put in the IP address if you're if you know where the IP address is uh, so I put in the my IP address. That's the IP address of the machine that I'm working on. And then I usually will use this um, line printer daemon. And if I know what the the model number of the machine, usually it'll find the 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 uh, when when you put in the IP address, it'll automatically find what the the model of the machine is so I usually will will rename this I'll call it oh great spelling 
and I tell it to add and then it'll add everything that and then you'll you'll get the screen where you add all the funk the uh, different options that it has so paper feeder I don't have a uh, any extra paper feeder um, document finisher I know this one only has a doc this kind of document finisher and say okay and basically once it's done it's over here and now you're ready to print if you have a uh, a document that you want to print you can open it up and say I want that I want to go file print um, this will will bring up all your uh, printer uh, printer options here you're actually select that is on the wrong one that is also on the wrong printer you want to get the one that we, the color printer the one that we created and at that point you can just hit print and it will print uh, in color there are some other things you have to kinda look at to see what you need to do to get it to uh, perform uh, properly usually has to do with the options you have there how you want it stapled you want it in black and white and, and such I think I do have another video uh, regarding those so if uh, let me know if this uh, helps and I will leave the links to the the, the website for Kyocera in the comments thank you